flashcards. One of them even had a picture of a pregnant man using flashcards to teach colors to the uh, to the three and four year olds. Um, there you go. There you go. The cards are made by now defunct company called Buy Us Box, which also made sets of flashcards showcasing non-binary and transgender animals, gender neutral nursery rhymes, and blackness collection. I got to get me some of that blackness collection. Uh, Daily Mail reported about that. The company has created was created by two women who said they were inspired by the murder of George Floyd. Last summer, months into the pandemic and days after George, George Floyd's murder, we were desperate to transform our feelings into concrete actions. That's what their website says. Black Lives Matter movement was pushing anti-racism conversations further into the spotlight while pandemic lockdowns meant many people were at home feeling unsure of what to do. We quickly moved ahead on an idea we'd already been discussing, a way to bring anti-racism and inclusivity directly into family homes. So there you go, flashcards. Flashcards. Somebody said to me, they said, you conservatives, y'all are all about free speech unless it's, you know, BLM or CRT. Or whatever. Now, look, if I'm a teacher and I'm teaching your kid math and I consistently tell them that two plus two is five, and if they take a test and say four and I say, no, no, two plus two is five. Now, that's not an issue of free speech. That's an issue of misinformation. I'm teaching them wrong. So when you start pumping your ideology into three- and four-year-olds, it's not about free speech because you are limited in what you can say in a classroom when you start pumping them full of ideologies and misinformation. Okay? You're there to freaking teach, not push an agenda or a narrative. There was an Air Force base that was going to have a drag queen story hour event but the public uh, gave a big old outcry and they canceled it um that was going to be over in germany and uh and then then you had then you had a nightclub that was uh, in duluth minnesota that was going to have a kid-friendly drag show yeah you heard all of that right a nightclub was going to do a kid-friendly drag show we've got the tape but i don't want to play it i don't want to play it uh, one of the participating drag queens told local news it was to help kids understand the daily life for a drag queen king. Um, okay. So there you go. Send your kids to the club. Rock and roll. And then, of course, we've got, um, uh, I think we do have time for this. Can we play the Leah Thomas cl clip real quick? The words from Leah Thomas. Play them. If you got them. And there are some who look at the data and suggest that you're enjoying a competitive advantage. What do you say to that? There's a lot of factors that go into a race and how, how well you do. And the biggest change for me is that I'm happy. And sophomore year, um, where I had my best times competing with the men, I was miserable. And so having that be lifted is incredibly relieving and all right allow so there you go it was all about how leah thomas felt right i i didn't i, I just didn't feel good it, it, i wasn't feeling good when i was putting up my best times against men so i had to go kick the shit out of the girls 